hello my friends how are you doing today today we're back today 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 <laughs> oh my gosh i am losing my mind i am so tired you know when i don't know if this happens to you but when you get in the car that's when it hits you how tired you are of course because you're at a red light like oh my god you know you've been living in vegas long enough from the east coast when 95 degrees it doesn't feel very hot out yeah it's crazy i have some notes we're gonna do a q a today and then we will nothing then we'll be done i don't know what i'm talking about i just ran out really quick to the post office i have a whole bunch of packages in the trunk depending on how long i babble for now oh b b he sticks like some part of his body out i don't know if you guys can even see it you could see it in the live video that adam and i did at the pool usually he's on this side but today he's over here and he sticks something out and i love feeling it but also sometimes it hurts it's like big so i don't know if it's a shoulder i don't know if it's a hip I don't know if it's a little booty. It's bigger than the foot. I always feel his foot or his elbow or his knee or something like up here over here. Whoa, but he's got something going on right now. He wants to be part of the video. Come on out. Come on out. You can be part of it anytime you want. Anyway, so depending on how long I talk or babble or get distracted by a little man kicking, we can open the packages on video or we can open the packages on a different video. We'll see. I meant we could open the packages on this video. This is the Hot Mess Express of all Hot Mess Expresses. One last thing, I need to get my hair done. So I called and I made a couple of appointments today that I've been kind of like putting off. I finally put in for my maternity leave, but that my maternity leave, that was Friday. I finally made that phone call or maybe Thursday. The woman was incredible from the insurance company. And I was like, you know, do I need to contact my HR department? What do I need to do from here? And she was like, you need to focus on having a healthy pregnancy, having a happy, healthy baby, and we will take it from here. Let me move this. That was like the sweetest thing ever. So I was like, do I need to call if the baby comes early? And she said, she gave me like exact inch the exact instructions on what to do. I'm working with Cigna. I can make a video about it if you guys are interested let me know. The reason I'm talking about the appointments is because I'm looking at my hair. I have to schedule two appointments. I have to schedule my hair. I want to do it as close to baby as I possibly can because I'm not going to have time to do any of that after he comes for a while. I need a ton of hair cut off. It is so dead. Although it looks kind of pretty today, it just, it's down to my butt crack and you can see the bottom of it is just scraggles. So I need to do that. I need to do my blonde. I need to bring my highlights up to the top and I need to do my roots. I'm assuming end of June will do, maybe early July, like when I hit 37 weeks, right before it's any day. And then I need to schedule for soon my prenatal massage that my SPWF sisters got for me, which was the sweetest. I'll post the video of me and Adam opening all the gifts that they sent. He was speechless. He said the one of the gifts was the best thing ever, the best thing he ever got. And then I also scheduled just today, I scheduled an appointment that I'm going to keep as a surprise for you guys. I'll tell you all about it after it happens. I might be able to get some footage from it if possible. The earliest she could take me was July 6th. And it's something I really, really, really want to do. So hopefully, little man, as much as I want him to come on 4th of July, I hope he waits until after the 6th if he doesn't come on the 4th. And if he comes on the 4th, I don't know that I could take that call from the hospital. I might just have to reschedule it. But then who knows when it'll happen. Okay, five minutes in, we haven't started. What else is new? So here we go with the Q&A. First question is, what is a symptom you've experienced during your pregnancy that you didn't expect? So I made a whole entire video that is the most TMI video on YouTube, I promise you, that I will link up there in the cards. But I mean, there were a ton of things that I didn't expect, but I think the probably biggest thing that I did not expect was the Blue Twinkies. And if you don't know what the Blue Twinkies are, I had no idea that was a thing. I mean, obviously it's not called that, but I will post a video where I talked about it up there. Basically when you get swelling, down there and you can't see it anymore but there's tons of them nipples that get huge the heartburn is out of control it's all in that one video just because there's so many but if i had to pick one it would probably be the blue twinkies did adam have sympathy symptoms yes 
he did. In fact, some of his pregnancy symptoms he experienced and I didn't get any. He told me, he's like, oh, this is very early on. He's like, I've just been so extra emotional lately. I get teary eyed at so much, but I think more than pregnancy sympathy, I think that has to do with him being home and just experiencing so much of life that wouldn't have been possible if he wasn't awarded that compassionate release. So I think it's kind of a combo deal. But also he gets a little bit frustrated sometimes. Shh, don't tell him I said that. Sometimes he'll give in and he'll eat things that he doesn't normally eat. I mean, neither of us are eating anything crazy or bad. But for example, I was just at the store getting us food for dinner and I went into the healthy aisle the gluten-free and that kind of stuff. And I got myself these potato crisps. They're supposed to be like healthy version of Pringles. How healthy they are, they're probably not. But I'll do that kind of stuff right now when I need crunch or I need salt or I need pregnancy, whatever. He typically does not do that, but he will do a little bit more pasta, more bread, that kind of stuff that neither of us really do when I'm not pregnant, especially him. I'm the one that can kind of try to trail off a little bit nutrition wise, but he is typically 100% of the time very strict with his diet. So he has given in a little bit here and there. However, that said, I'm not really getting any cravings. I'm not eating anything insane. I will eat frozen yogurt bars. That's been my thing recently. He does not eat them. Basically that's it. More like emotional, that kind of stuff. What do baby kicks feel like? Oh, okay. So one of you guys said this in the beginning when you first feel them, it kind of feels like popcorn popping in your stomach. I loved that analogy because I kind of felt that too. But what I very first felt, the first time I felt baby was very early, I thought, and it makes sense because baby is so active. This little man, like literally at the doctor last time, she was so cute. She was trying to get his heartbeat. And she's like, if you would just stop moving, then I could get it for you. I could get your heartbeat. That's how he is. He moves constantly. I love it. I love that he's just like me and Adam and he's gonna fit right into the family. We are on the go all the time. The very first movement that I felt, the only way that I could describe it, it was early. I wanna say it was like 10, 11 weeks. It felt like a little tadpole just kind of like quickly swam through my stomach, if that makes sense. Maybe I felt it twice between eight and like 14 weeks, which is early. Usually people don't feel anything before 20 weeks. Even then it's like, eh, but 19 weeks I was feeling him constantly. I did my whole first trimester recap, second trimester recap, and those videos are back in my pregnancy playlist. I can post one of them up there for you guys. And that'll tell you exactly when I felt baby, if you wanna know. The next time I felt baby, I was in the car. I was 14 weeks. I think I was 14 weeks, which again is very early to feel baby. There was like this really good house song on and I was singing and all of a sudden it felt like somebody was like, tap, tap, tap inside of my belly. I knew it was him and I was joking cause I cannot sing to save anybody's life including my own. Shocked the windows in the car didn't break, but I love to do car concerts regardless. And I feel like he was like, mom, no, please stop. It just kind of felt like a little taps. I've also heard people say that it feels like flicks. Somebody's flicking the inside of your stomach. And that's 19, 20, up until middle of second trimester, beginning of third trimester. And now starting probably 31 weeks, 32 weeks, his kicks are hard and they're strong. And there is no no way that you can misidentify them. It feels exactly what it is. It feels like there is a person on the inside of your stomach that is hitting you and kicking you and punching you and moving around in there. And it doesn't always necessarily hurt. Most moms say they enjoy it and to the point where they miss it when it's gone. And I feel like I will, but sometimes this kid is strong. And the reason why, cause I'm a science nerd, you guys. So I recently read this and I loved it. But the reason why it starts to hurt now is because now we're at a point where baby is big enough that there's more baby than amniotic fluid. So up until this point, you had more fluid than baby in there. So it kind of cushioned you from feeling all of those hard kicks. Now that that's, he's bigger, there's more baby than fluid. The fluid has reached the max it's gonna get in there. Now I really feel him because there's no cushions. And starting probably 33 weeks and a few days, because right now I'm 30, as I'm filming this, I will be 34 weeks in two days. Side note, somebody had commented on today's video that posted today. So I'm 33 weeks and four days. They were like, you said you're 31 weeks, but you're due July 22nd. How is that possible? That's because I pre-film my videos. I take 
ages to edit my videos. I love editing. I love everything about YouTube. It is so much work, but I love it. I love the whole process. It's my creative outlet. I love filming. I love editing. I love adding all the bells and whistles into my videos and then uploading them to YouTube reading your comments and your reactions. Although I haven't really been responding to comments for a little while. It was because when I was getting a lot of hate in the beginning of my pregnancy, I kind of had to shut that off, but I do read almost all of them, if not all of them. Anyway, that's why though, and I'm trying to film as many as I possibly can before baby comes, because I know I'm gonna need to take a break. I'm just not gonna have time to do all that when he's taking all of my attention and my energy. Just to clarify, if I say I'm like 33 weeks now, you probably won't see this until, I don't know, you might not even see this until after he's born. That said, for more up to date, you know, behind the scenes stuff, for everyday stuff, you can follow me on Instagram. It's at row underscore Clausen. This way, like when I'm, if my water breaks, I could tell you guys right then and there because I tell you guys everything on the spot. I'm not gonna be able to get in to make a video and tell you guys, hey, you know, I'm in the hospital. My water broke. Sitting here waiting, having contractions and editing that while I'm miserably having contractions. You know what I mean? Well, it's gonna be great. It's gonna come out really fast. Blah, 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 blah. So that's what kicks feel like. And now it feels like he's trying to escape through my skin before his actual release date. So that's kind of fun. What has been my weirdest craving? Honestly, I've not really craved a lot. In the beginning, I was craving Starbucks wraps every single day. And I think what it was, was I was vegan up until I was diagnosed with really severe anemia when I was getting my gestational diabetes test. So it's probably like 26 weeks. And then I added meat and dairy back into my diet for a little man. I didn't know, Adam told me they were vegetarian and he used to get them for me all the time. No, he told me, I'm sorry, he told me they were vegan. He told me there was no cheese in them and winds up they did have cheese in them. I'm shocked that they didn't make me sick, but that's probably my body needing the calcium back then. So I did crave those, but like bizarre cravings. I think the most bizarre craving I've had was one day I wanted toast with butter and grape jelly. And I didn't eat it. I don't have grape jelly in the house because I've told you guys this, but one of my bizarre symptoms too is I don't like the taste of sugar. Fruit is okay, but sugar, I don't like the taste of it, except for my frozen yogurt bars, but I guess there's not too much sugar in there. I don't know, I guess, I don't know, I'm weird. But the thought of eating grape jelly was disgusting to me. But like out here, like the craving of it, I was like, oh, I need that. But then the thought of it, I'm like, ugh. I also weirdly craved a bagel, like a plain, soft, fresh bagel with cream cheese and grape jelly, like right around that same time frame. And I was telling my sisters of one of my sisters, two of my sisters that are pregnant, and one of them was like, that's so weird. I was craving the same exact thing yesterday. That might be more of a sentimental, sentimental. <laughs> that might be more of a sentimental craving because that's what my mom loved. If she was gonna eat a bagel, she would eat it with either cream cheese and strawberry jam or grape jelly. And I never got it, the craving kind of passed, but I think that's the weirdest of all of them I haven't craved. How has sleeping been? Ooh, not easy. So starting like, I think, I, I, again, I think it was 26 weeks, but it's in that second trimester video. I got pregnancy insomnia and Charlie horses in the middle of the night. So that would wake me up. That lasted like a week or two. Now, thank God I've not cramped from 26 till now. It happened for like a week or two. My legs will be really tight and they'll feel like they're going to cramp, but thankfully I they don't. Like I'll get up and I'll walk around, but I do have to get up to go to the bathroom. My stomach's been a little bit off when I sleep recently. We've also been eating dinner a little bit later. So that could be like, I'm having trouble digesting my food or something. So my stomach pain, like kind of like gas pains will wake me up and having to go to the bathroom will wake me up and just kind of like moving back and forth, rolling over. Cause I can't just kind of like wiggle my body. I'm a side sleeper. Side to side, I have to like actually push myself up with my hands, make sure that I don't use my legs, otherwise they will cramp, and then roll myself over and I go back and forth all night long. So sleeping has been a bit tough. The pregnancy pillow is literally a lifesaver. I would not be able to sleep without Christian Gray. And you're like, who's Christian Gray? Isn't your husband's name Adam? What are you talking about? I named my pregnancy pillow Christian Gray because first of all, it's gray. Second of all, every husband hates Christian Gray as well as hates pregnancy pillows because they are walk. Yes, I'm a nerd like that. I talked about it in my nighttime routine video. I'll put it up there, but I cannot sleep without Christian Gray. Adam hates him. And like every time I go to bed and I curl up in my pregnancy pillow, he's like, how do you feel about a boy since you wanted a girl? That is such a good question. So originally for you guys that are new here, don't know, Adam and I both thought we wanted a girl. 
I think a lot of it had to do with one of Adam's best friends has two little girls and watching him with his girls, he's just the best dad. It makes you melt, it's so cute. So I think Adam watching that, he just wanted that relationship with a daughter. He just loved that. And for some reason we just both felt like it was a girl when I first was diagnosed pregnant. What does that mean? when I first found out I was pregnant. But it was weird because in the back of my mind, I'm like, but what if it's a boy? Or we would call my belly her. And then I'd be like, come on, don't do that. Because like, if it's a boy, mother's intuition. The day we found out it was a boy, I remember just being like, you guys could see the video. It's in my gender reveal video. I'll put it up there. So many cards today. Adam said to me, are you shocked? And I said, no. And the next thing I said to him and I cut it out was, are you disappointed? And he was like, absolutely not. And then I looked at him and I was like, oh my God, this is gonna make me cry. I was like, we have a son and he started crying. It was so sweet because I don't think we both realized how much we wanted a boy because we were just lost in like the glitz and the glamour and I get to dress a girl and I get to do her nails and I get to do her hair and cute little girl frilly clothes and little girl names are so fun. But I could not imagine not having a boy right now. I want a mama's little boy. I think Adam has so many chival chivalristic, is that a word? He's got so many masculine qualities that he can pass along to a little boy. The world needs more mini Adams in it, more chivalrous men and more respectful men and honestly I want to try again I do which is really funny because I haven't even had baby number one I say that because Adam and I are older we're in our 40s when you have a baby in your 20s then they have a lot longer with you hopefully my mom had my youngest sister at 42 and died when my sister was 27. So I witnessed that and I don't ever, I mean, I don't want this to get like to a morbid spot, but I just want him to have a buddy, whether it be a girl or a boy. Now I feel like if I get pregnant again, it's gonna be another boy, but honestly, that doesn't bother me. Like I don't need a girl. I would love to have a girl, but I would also love for him to have a, like a best friend brother. So I would like to try again, unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't want to do this part again, and I probably don't want to do labor and delivery again, but how did I get there? Where? How do I feel about a boy since I wanted a girl? Okay, so that's the answer. And then I tangented, tangented, went on a tangent, like always. What is his name? <laughs> so that's funny. Adam accidentally slipped a hundred times on so many videos that we were making, but I was able to just like cover his mouth and beep it out because I really want something to be a surprise for you guys. On a live video, he slipped with the baby's initials. I was gonna show you guys his initials anyway so you guys could start guessing since we only have like six weeks left at this point when I showed you guys the nursery, but he slipped anyway. He called the baby CJ. So there is a hint. The baby's initials are CJ, it's a C and a J. And that's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Wow, poet. Do you like being pregnant? In the beginning, I hated every second of it. Now, I don't love it. I loved second trimester. Second trimester was so fun. It was a breeze. And honestly, now that I have a big belly, it's getting hard, you guys. I'm gonna make another video about it, but it's, I'm slowing down. Everything hurts. It's hot. It's really hard. He hurts me now. Like it's hard. Plus you don't have control. You don't know when he's gonna come. Any little cramp, I'm like, oh my God, am I in labor? Which is silly, but it's my first time. I don't know what to expect or what I'm doing. I also think it's very intriguing how people treat you so differently when you're pregnant, when you have like a huge baby bump, which is sweet. But on the other hand, like, shouldn't we all treat each other like that all the time? But again, thank God that I don't have people like pushing me or running me over. Like people just really are very sympathetic or empathetic towards you, very helpful. They always say the sweetest things. Like they'll always congratulate me. Like, I don't know if this is a West Coast thing. I've never seen this on the East Coast. Also, I've never been pregnant before, but I'll just be like walking through the parking lot with my shopping cart and someone will yell and be like, congratulations. And the first time I'm like, and now I'm like, oh, thank you. Oh, got it. Thank you. But that's sweet to say that to like a complete stranger. So there's parts of pregnancy I enjoy. And there are a lot of parts of pregnancy that I don't like at all. But I think there are a lot of parts also that I'm going to miss. Like, I just love feeling him in there. I do. Oh, what's the worst symptom you've gotten? Okay, two. I had to really think about this because immediately I was like, oh, leg cramps which are bad. So that would be my number two, but I forgot because it's been so long and you block stuff. So you do give little CJ, a little brother, a constipation in the beginning. Oh, I would have, I never threw up once during this pregnancy. A couple times, like it came up in my throat, sorry, TMI, but I would have taken throwing up every single day or like that 
horrible nausea that I felt every day over the constipation. That was seriously, that was bad. And thank God, knocking on wood or my head, <laughs> touching metal is another, like it's an Italian one, but thank God I've not experienced that. Supposedly it comes back in the third trimester. I don't know if it's going to, I'm still, I still have six weeks. So I hope like as the baby grows, but I hope that it doesn't. I do take my prenatal gummy fibers religiously every single night. And I do take magnesium every single night. And I hope that's why I'm not getting it. But thank God right now I'm still regular because that was literally torture. If I had to choose between the constipation and the leg cramps, they're both just terrible. But I think I might take the cramps over constipation because at least that stops in a couple minutes where constipation lasted like weeks. It was bad. Do you have any stretch marks? So far, so good. No, I was just noticing the other day I have like red marks. They're, they're not stretch marks, but they're parts that just look like a little sensitive, if that makes sense. Spider veiny. So I don't know if they're spider veins or if it's my skin is like pulled to the max and stretch marks are coming. I heard that they can come late or they can come after. Some people say they don't come until like 40 weeks. I can't go past 40 weeks. My doctor won't let me because of my age. So that's kind of working in my favor, but I also know they come at like 37, 38, 39 too. I'm okay so far. I've been religious, religious from the day I found out I was pregnant. I have every single lotion and lube and potion you can imagine. I use Elemental Mom. I've used all of the Palmer's lotions and oils. I use straight coconut oil. I, my sister gifted me on Mother's Day, Honest Company's lotion and oil. And I have another one. Oh, I have bio oil, but I stopped using it after a week because I saw that it has mineral oil in there and I don't think that's good. So I I stopped using that one. I always put it on twice a day at one point in the morning and then I always lube up my belly. You could ice skate on it with some sort of oil. Recently it's been coconut. I just really like the way it feels and I just feel like it's really viscous and it's really moisturizing. I will do that every night before bed without fail. I don't go to sleep without lubing up my belly. Does it help? I've heard mixed reviews but might as well keep that skin moisturized. I do not put my belly out in the sun whatsoever. If I'm gonna go to the pool, because my doctor told me to start going to the pool to help with the swelling in my legs, which is also kind of an, an annoying side effect or an annoying symptom. But if I'm gonna go to the pool, I either wear a tankini or like the other day we went two days in a row, so my tankini was dirty. So I wore, I wore an old bathing suit, like a bikini that I had that fit under the bump and it still fits my chest. And I just stayed in the water the whole time. Plus it was 7.30 PM. So you're not getting much sun, but I try not to get the belly tanned because I don't want to dry out that skin. And we'll pray. Oh, I drink a lot of water and I also have taken collagen every day since first trimester after I asked the doctor for it. One of my friends, Kat suggested it. Our girl Gigi turned her onto it. And you see how like girlfriendships work and there's like a trickle effect. So love them for that. Th that's supposed to really help with skin and stretch marks. And right now I'm good. I'll keep you guys posted. What is your advice to women trying not to get pregnant? I mean, <sighs> trying not to get pregnant, go on birth control, use a condom, <laughs> abstinence, don't have sex. No. What is your advice to women who are trying to get pregnant? Dodo. I made a whole video about that and it was specific towards women who are trying to get pregnant over the age of 35 or 40 because I did naturally. It honestly could work for anybody who's trying to get pregnant. So I will post that video in the cards. It's really important. It didn't even get that many views probably because I posted it on a Friday. And for some reason, when I was posting Friday videos, they were not getting views. So that's why I stopped posting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Anyway, above all else, don't stress. So much easier said than done, but don't stress. Try to be as healthy as possible. I gave so many tips in there. It sounds so backwards and it is so backwards and it's so hard to do, but stress is gonna, it's gonna stress you out ignore the pregnancy brain. Oh my gosh. What has been your biggest fear throughout pregnancy? My biggest fear throughout my whole life. The minute I found out that a stork doesn't drop a baby on your front porch is labor and delivery. That's been my biggest fear. I'm just petrified of it because there's no control. You don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know how long it's going to last. You don't know if your epidural is going to work. You don't know anything. So I've full faith in my doctors and they know here's my birth plan. You guys, my birth plan is I want an epidural and I give you full permission to do any medical intervention you need to save my life and the baby's life to make us as healthy and as comfortable as possible. And some people might turn their nose to that and might think that that's crazy. But first of all, if I've learned anything throughout this journey and all the research I've been doing and all the videos I've been watching is that the only thing you could plan for is your plan to go out the window. So I'm not going in with some crazy big birth plan. If that's your thing, that's 
awesome as long as you know that it might and really probably won't go the way that you want and you're not going to be like over the moon disappointed over the moon disappointed makes no sense but you're not going to be down in the dumps disappointed that you couldn't follow your plan maybe I, I don't know there are probably are cases where people do but the majority of people that I've run into online or speaking to in person their birth plan went out the window so I don't have like this big grand plan all I want Right, I can get an epidural and also just keep me healthy, keep me alive. I'm 42 years old. I will almost be 43 years old. I'll be a few days shy of 43 when he's born. So I don't like going to the doctor when I'm not pregnant. I don't like medication unless it's necessary. These are the times that I personally save it for because I can't do this by myself. Has Adam been supportive during pregnancy? Oh my God, you guys. He's been unbelievably supportive. He's gone over and above starting first trimester when I was so sick he would cook he would clean he would do the laundry he would vacuum he did everything and I would just sleep or lay on the couch or moan or complain about how nauseous I was and now that I'm getting bigger and things are getting harder he does so much for me like last night he cooked us dinner the time I had the breakdown he sat there and he's like put your legs up let me rub your legs we'll just be watching tv and he'll like just grab my leg and give me a foot rub he's been so super supportive he's been so helpful we'll eat dinner and he will not let me touch a dish and I'll try to clean and he won't let me he's like I got this go lay down along with that I don't know why recently my thing has been like I've heard so many moms say they don't take a shower for a week I need to clean myself at least once a day I just bleh. I'm sure all of you veteran moms are like good luck with that one girl but I'm like you know I was telling him I was like I just want to be able to the point where I can hand him to you for 10 minutes just so I could shower and he was like are you kidding me I want to spend time with the baby when I'm home I want to be with him I want to bond with him I want it to be the three of us all the time and that's not lip service that's Adam that is so Adam I mean he reads to the baby every night before bed he's just been over and above and beyond. So if you have any questions, I could do a Q&A for Adam specifically for this kind of stuff. I have ice cream in the trunk. God, it's, it's not that hot. It's 95 degrees out. It's 95 degrees out. I have ice cream in the trunk. So I mean, my frozen yogurt bars don't want anybody to get that out of shape. I do not like sugar. I'm not lying to you guys. While I'm pregnant, I can't, I, I don't know what it is. Sometimes I'm like, I just want the damn brownie and I can't have it. If you guys have anything that you want me to talk about, I'm going to try to film as many videos as I can this week because I do feel like little man's coming a little bit early. Thoughts, comments, requests, whatever you want me to do, put them in the comments below. If you are not already subscribed, I'd love if you join the family just do it by clicking the red circle no the circle that pops up on the screen or the red box below go back on my channel watch other videos if you want i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one Mwah.